uh, the shooting down of MH17 is by any standards a an horrific and unspeakable tragedy. I can confirm this afternoon that nine Victorians were aboard Malaysian Air Airlines flight MH17. I can also advise that it is understood that there are other passengers who were permanent residents of Australia who were travelling on passports from their countries of origin have also been lost. Whether any of those passengers who are permanent residents are from Victoria is not yet known. I can also advise that a number of passengers on MH17 were travelling to Melbourne and Victoria for AIDS 2014, the International AIDS Conference. My thoughts and prayers, together with those of all Victorians, go out to the family, friends and colleagues of those who have been lost tragically in this horrific event. As a mark of respect to those Victorians who lost their lives and those who are travelling to Melbourne for the AIDS conference who have lost their lives, I have ordered that flags on all government buildings across Victoria be flown at half-mast today and for the duration of the AIDS conference next week. I have spoken directly with Melbourne-based consular representatives from Malaysia and the Netherlands and conveyed on behalf of all Victorians uh, our sympathy and thoughts for those countries who have been tragically affected by this event. My office has been in contact with the organisers of the AIDS conference to offer our support and our assistance with any additional uh, efforts that need to be undertaken by the AIDS conference organisers in support of the people attending the conference who may have lost uh, close colleagues and friends. I have instructed my department and indeed all Victorian government departments to work closely with the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade to provide any support required for Victorian families or those affected by this tragedy. I would urge people who wish to obtain information to contact DFAT on 1300 555 135. The Department of Human Services have made available through the Victorian Council of Churches, uh, counsellors and support staff. Indeed, there are seven Victorian Council of Services churches counsellors available at Melbourne Airport at the moment. There are VCC counsellors being deployed to Malaysian Airlines head office here in Melbourne to support staff through this tragedy. Through the Victorian Council of Churches, the Red Cross and professional uh, independent counsellors through DHS, we are making these services available to families and friends and others who are affected by this horrific tragedy. This is a sad day for the world and a very, very sad day for those people who have lost loved ones lost friends, lost colleagues. Our thoughts and prayers are with them. Uh, as a Victorian government, we will do everything we can to support those people who have been directly affected by this tragedy. But I would also say that the whole world has been affected by this horrific event. 